GBMC's newly relocated and renovated Sexual Assault and Forensic Examination Unit, also known as SAFE, is working round the clock to protect and help victims of sexual assault and domestic violence. I spoke with Laura Cleary, SAFE Clinical Program Manager, about the new location and how to get a better understanding of how SAFE serves our community. Start by saying just how excited are you about being in this brand new space? We are super excited. It's, it's such a change uh, for where we came from, and we're really grateful that the hospital supported us moving to this space. And due to the sensitive nature of what you do, right. having somebody wait cannot be a good thing. Right, exactly. So, you know, our goal is to get in and care for these patients as quick as possible. So to be able to eliminate that time lag from that one patient checking into the next and be able to accommodate them both is really important um, and it makes a big difference to the patient as well. It seems like a long walk for somebody who's in, you know, in, in crisis. It's a very private walk. So we walk them down uh, the back hallway so you're not walking out in the middle of the main uh, hospital. So it is a private walk, but again, it's not much further than where we were previously located. So they get here, uh, you put them in a room, what happens next? So the unit is built to accommodate um, having not just the patient in mind, but also their family and anyone who comes with them. So we have a private waiting area. Um, it's a child-friendly waiting area. So we have different activities for if someone comes in and they have a child with them. Um, we have our private examination room. So while the nurse is caring for the patient, uh, their family can be still close by uh, providing support. We also have a nourishment station with refreshments and coffee machine and snacks and anything that can, again, just the little things that sometimes we take for granted that can mean so much to somebody when they went through something so scary. And I guess I don't need to get too detailed, but what happens in the examination rooms? So we do what's called medical forensic examination. So when you're caring for patients who have been a victim of sexual violence or domestic violence, basically what we do is, again, making sure that everything is okay, addressing any kind of medical need they would have, photographing any kind of injuries like uh, lacerations or bruises, um, you know, addressing any issues like strangulation, and then um, collecting evidence, biological evidence from their body. And then we write up a report and we treat any kind of medical need they would have. So we can give uh, antibiotics or pregnancy prophylaxis um, prior to discharging them. So we're kind of a one-stop shop rather than making that child leave here and their family take them to yet another place where they would have to speak with someone. And at what cost to the patient or the, the victim, if I can use that word, so this is a 100% free and confidential service. So all of our forensic nursing and advocacy services, our child life services and social work services related to this are completely free. So none of our patients receive a bill for the services that we provide in this unit. It's a incredibly rewarding field to work in. Um, I will say I could not do this work without the tremendous work of my team that works alongside me. So I have an incredible group of forensic nurses and an amazing group of super compassionate victim advocates that cover the schedule 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. We are always ready to respond to when someone needs us. It takes a special person to be able to work with children during these tough times. To explain further her role, certified child life specialist Jennifer Seiler shares how she does it. Child Life Specialist, yeah. what is it, what do you do? So we help to prepare kids for the hospital experience and in particular for SAFE exams. We help them feel prepared for what's going to be happening during the exam, what's going to be touching their body, who's going to be in the room. Um, traumatic things have happened which led them here. Uh, so we want to make sure that they know everyone um, here are safe people. So we're preparing for the entire experience. And you go through a picture book? Yeah, so what we do prior to their exam, um, depending on the age of the child, we use teaching dolls. Um, this is a blank cloth doll or a hospital buddy. Um, and what we do is we take them through the entire exam um, so they feel prepared, so they know what's going to happen. So a lot of times with kids, we'll allow them to use these little Q-tips, let them you know, touch the doll's head, touch their feet, their hand. Um, it's going to be a dry one, maybe a wet one. They can practice on their skin so they kind of have that role reversal so they can play nurse, they can feel um, prepared. We can develop coping strategies, what's going to work during the exam. So maybe they're watching um, a video, maybe they're doing an ice spy book, blowing bubbles to help calm their body down. Um, so they are um, just feeling prepared for what's going to happen. And then we also will take pictures ahead of time for kiddos that want to see the space prior to walking in. They'll see um, pictures of the exam room, the table, the kids that they're going to see so it allows them to ask questions prior 
to the exam happening. Great idea. You know, during the exam, it's always nice to have something to kind of cuddle or hold or fiddle in your hands, so you get a nice little stuffed animal as, oh, and the bed is moving. Look how fun that is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little spaceship. <laughs> as unfortunate as it is, we can all agree we're more than fortunate to have such an amazing team of people who do what they do best, taking care of others in extremely tough situations. For GBMC's Greater Living, I'm Don Scott.